So I was in an article on the front page of the newspaper, and I am so terrified because the cringe levels are gonna be off the charts, boys. We're going into like DEFCON 1 level cringe. I really, I did not want to make this video. I've been putting this thing off for so long. It's just, I, I just, I can't take it. It is, it is so hard. <laughs> it really is like just one of the most, it's like one of the worst things. They told me to take pictures like this though. I just, oh, it's so bad. Still rocking my glasses back then. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the article, but it's just, I can't stand myself. Oh no, 22, basically 22,000 people viewed this. That is so terrifying. Again, this was March 7th, 2016. So a little over four years ago. Oh, this is where that image was taken too. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's just so good. I'm okay with not making that much money and doing something that I like to do. Oh, well, that's still, that is still true. If I was a bum on the streets, I'd still find a way to make videos, honestly. When Drew Donnell told his parents he was gonna quit yeah they were not they were not happy their initial confusion yeah we put confused but uh they they were not confused i got beat that night i'm just kidding mommy i love you i'm really tempted to just look like a dad for this entire video and just read it off the paper get like a coffee and stuff mm. Mm. fascinating see these are the hidden moments though that you don't get on the online version student levels up his channel oh yeah i do think the article in the actual paper is longer than the one online good thing i'm the only one with the only copy of this thing it's actually weird like no one knew me from my channel at all but when the article got written people would come up and say oh i read that i saw you in the paper it wasn't even close like no one had actually watched my videos <laughs> nobody was watching my videos at that time in the beginning when you're like a thousand subscribers or below it's so hard to stand out from the flood of content that's out there yeah that is true i stand by that and that this was in 2016 i can't even imagine what's out there now you really got to know what you're doing like if you don't know what you're doing ugh. originally i started off with kind of gaming journalism that no that i that was not it i was doing something weird but it wasn't that it was more like a only fan sort of account back then there were dark times dark times this was still when i was with my original name rocking that original name what a name and uh, if you didn't know i had to change that because that is only one letter off from being a different word and that got me into a lot of trouble especially now that youtube's going around like smacking people left and right they used to not do that anymore i get whipped by susan every day oh this is when i was at 42,000 subscribers okay there's a type of channels that do get that boom that huge Yep, that's how I still describe my words. Use your words, Drew. Use your words. I still haven't learned how to use my words. The amount of videos I've started off with just going like, it's gonna be like, <laughs> my channel was never really like that. It was always a really slow growth. Okay, that's true. And that's still to this day. It's never, it's never been like, <laughs> Had to do it again. Had to do it again. <laughs> Darnell's path to becoming a YouTuber began in middle school. <laughs> that is uh, quite the, I, I don't, I, okay. In fifth grade, they used to broadcast, well, I don't know why I'm giving myself a pre pub Bessent voice. It already is pre pubescent. Am I saying that right? In fifth grade, they used to broadcast the middle school news that the eighth graders were only involved in. So as a fifth grader, I was like, I want to do that. I am not a good person to interview. I don't know why. <laughs> I just, like, the way I describe things, just, my English no good. Yep, yep, at my high school, there was nothing. It was so weird. Like, my middle school had video stuff, and high school, not really. Like, I wanted, like, old school, I wanted everyone to be forced to watch our terrible newscasts, but they didn't do that. Like, what? How lame. In high school, Durnell and his friends created Funny for Like 20, a comedy channel where the group of friends would upload dumb skits. That's, that's good. That, I, I know, I use the word, I use the word. One of the more popular series on the channel was named Officer Sanchez. In the show, Durnell friend Frank Sanchez would chase down criminals in ludicrous situations getting hurt in the process against his will by the way I might add I had to force him to do that we were weirdos making videos now I'm uh, well I'm the same thing I'm a weirdo making videos ha I had no idea those videos were not the embarrassing things it was the stuff at the time I was doing <laughs> let's see what my editor Frank is thinking about this he's editing this video right now this is what he said it was always fun watching people watch us and laugh at us I'm like Yes, that's all we're trying to do. <laughs> this fool ain't sounded any smarter than me, so hey, that's good with me. <laughs> we both sound dumb as sh <gasps> Every time we wanted to do something- Wait, I gotta talk to this guy. Every time we wanted to do something, sucker! <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Every time- How do I talk like Frank? Hey, fool, every time we wanted to, like, do something, uh, stupid or get hurt, we didn't want to do it. I was like, man, I don't want to do this, man. <laughs> it's my terrible accent. Dang, this quote is too real, and it's pretty obvious still to this day. That's a pretty big sign. Like, uh, yeah, that's why I just watch them. I liked strategy games, and I realized, oh, wait, 
This doesn't require a lot of hand-eye coordination, and I can just use my brain. Oh, man. Oh, no. If only I knew. But it is true. It is easier to get good at strategy games. Like, yeah, first-person shooters. I, I'm not good at that. Oh, wow. I totally forgot what I used to do. This is kind of cool. Production-wise, he spends about two hours playing a game and a half an hour of it. Wow. Half an hour of editing. Now that's in the reverse. Well, I mean, uh, I don't... I don't edit anymore. <laughs> Never mind. Darnell spends a lot of time marketing this channel, reading comments, and keeping active on social media. Pretty sure I tweeted like seven times in 2016. It can be pretty stressful sometimes. Everyone thinks, oh, you're a YouTuber, you can do whatever you want. But it's like a full-time job doing this. I mean, it is, but it's, uh, that didn't age so well. But if you play in the same game every single day, it's gonna become not fun, like, progressively. Oh, wow, this was back in a time when I used to wake up early and be productive in the mornings. Now I record everything at, like, 2 a.m. Actually, I did back then. I, I think I, this this was a straight-up lie. His videos are mainly targeted to 12 to 24 years old. No, there was no 12-year-olds. I don't think. I don't think. Videos do very well in the Netherlands, the United Kingdom, and Scandinavian countries. That was right. I did a video about... The countries that watch me the most. Germany's up there. Canada's up there too. That's still pretty consistent four years later. Whoa, this is kind of weird. Besides this main channel. Oh, it looks like. Oh, it looks like my second channel is the one that actually took off. But in reality, I just changed the name. Donald! Oh yeah, Donald was also interviewed. Man, they were interviewing all my friends. Wow, I used to stream on Twitch back in those days too. What happened? I have streamed like honestly like three times. I feel like I'd get in so much trouble if I just streamed. That's why I'm avoiding it. The only way they put me right here on the front page is because... Like, they, they must have determined they were going to do it before they actually interviewed me. And then once they interviewed me, they were like, oh, this guy is not... this. We can't put this guy on the front page. <laughs> it was too late. They already allocated the space. They were like, oh, dang it. We got to run with it. I love how, like, one of the... You know how, like, in papers, they, like, uh, make certain quotes bigger than others? Like, important things, I guess? One of those was when I called us weirdos making dumb videos. That's that's great. Yeah, thank thank you for emphasizing that one quote there. Oh yeah, there's a couple of other little elements. Hmm, hold on, I gotta get my dad glasses on. Trying to really rock that look when you show dad a meme on your phone. Oh, that's right! This is when I was uploading four videos a day. Oh my goodness. Woo! Yeah, that was, uh, it really, okay, so maybe it was. I think I was actually working way more back then than I am now. <laughs> It's true though. No, it is true though. A whole new world out there. I think the way the younger generation is taking in their content is totally different. And that was me too. I stopped watching like cable TV in like 2008. So that was a really weird time because you know how many weird videos were in 2008? That's all I watched back then. So that probably is the reason why I'm like the way I am right now. And that was like literally my favorite form of entertainment. Let's just see what they were looking at. This was 2015. So this might have been the first video oh good representing i was representing the streets back then obviously nothing's changed hey, Tropical Five, the newest expansion, water oh my uh, now god this expansion is i can't i can't as well as uh, i still want to make a video where i like watch my like first videos i've ever made was this when i was still doing outros too eventually i started doing outros with this which there was no there was no point in doing intros and an outro at the very end that was literally just like a huge waste of time <laughs> let's just get the worst part out of the way oh no this thing has comments too no so it's not it's not yeah like everyone thinks oh you're a youtuber it's all good you know like you can do whatever you want but it's like no it's like a full-time job pretty much doing this so kind of so just because you like a, a certain game um you might not like to play that game. FIFA! Oh, that's right. They had me play FIFA. That's true, though. Back in these days, I was playing a lot of Civilization V. That's all I was doing. And I was just let's playing. I wasn't doing nothing else. So my perspective on things was really different. I didn't edit my videos. They were pretty, like, long and just excruciating. I was f I had fun playing it, but not that many people were watching. Looking more at it as a job. Like, I see kind of the games that I play more as just like a job, not really sort of entertainment for me. It's more of like... Yeah, you could uh, tell I was... I just did yeah, not like it anymore. Like... <laughs> At this point, while they were interviewing me, I'd been doing it for like three years, three years, and uh, I, I would, wasn't enjoying what I was doing. Why am I playing FIFA? I <laughs> I've never played FIFA in my life. People don't necessarily search for vlog videos. People don't necessarily search for like skits. They search for games. And so I can pull them over to the other content that I liked to, uh, to, to create. I was... Yeah, that never happened. <laughs> I mean, I did do some of that stuff, but it ended up, like, that was not the main thing that I wanted anymore. Um, yeah, I was doing, uh, I had a second channel at that time, and I was doing, like, uh, a lot of VR videos. That was actually kind of fun, though. The funny thing is my editor and my best friend, Frank, actually ended up doing more 
of the vlogging. He's done way more. <laughs> He's following his dreams where I was like, you know, uh, not. But yeah, his latest four videos is us in Boston. We went to PAX East and that was the first time I'd ever been on the East Coast. So he's doing all the vlog stuff. I'm bringing you the first map of the day. It's a metro map. All right, let me tell you what's going on. We got England attacking down from the south. We got the Spaniards coming in from the west. Dude, a little, oh my bad, oh, that's my, <laughs> my bad, oh my bad. All right. So, so far I've been in a tiny college newspaper and been used for like two seconds on a televised newscast for only a certain area of Canada. So clearly, I'm really moving up there. I'm, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing a, a lot, I guess. Thanks, thanks for, thanks for watching. See you next time. And big thanks to the April patrons. LVC, Elijah Senpai, Swiss Argo, Maxi G, Pizza, KS, Panqualaz, Stuff. Luxembourg Love, Riley A, Mayonnaise Incorporated, Seth A, Bolin Like Stall, Tyler Beach, Pelovsky, Daddy Kim, Supreme Leader of the Universe, Clevin, Sleeper 56, and Millitime. Thank you.